Hayley, well played, a good solid team performance tonight and another three points. Thanks, yeah, no, it's a really good three points. Away from home is never easy and um, the conditions are a little bit testing at times. But um, yeah, no, good three points. Bristol are a good side and they're, you know, a young, hungry side as well. So they were pressing us and making it uncomfortable at times. But um, yeah, no, good all round three points. You feel a bit strange tonight playing against players who you've been teammates of yours for the last couple of years? Yeah, a little bit. I think people kind of like shouting my name and stuff, and it was <laughs> obviously to pick me up and, and what have you. But um, yeah, no, it is a little bit weird. But yeah, it's nice and nice to come back and see girls like Millie Farrow, play, uh, players that I played with, and she's back from injury. And you know, good to see the girls doing so well as well. Well, it's, uh, your players are doing really well at the moment and probably none better than Ellen White. She's in fantastic form at the moment and two more goals tonight. Yeah, no, uh, she's a brilliant player. She she really is key for us. Um, yeah, no, I, there's no two ways about it. She's she's doing really, really well as well. She's hitting a great run of form. Um, so, yeah, just hopefully we can keep her fit and um, we can keep those three points coming. So it's just a slight little bit of regret. This run of form might have started just a little bit too late for perhaps a challenge for the top three or something like that because the team really, probably from the city you played Bristol City the first time at home, the team really yeah. hasn't looked back since then. Yeah, I do think uh, everything kind of like happens for a reason, as cliche as it sounds. I think we needed those kind of like rough games and, and results to kind of kick us into gear and find the style of play that we want to play and it, which is better, best for us. Um, so yeah, having gone through that, we are now hitting this second half of, half of the season really well and that's just going to bode really well for next season. Presumably the two games against Man City must have done wonders for the team's confidence even though you lost the first one you took them all the way to extra time and then actually beating them and then in that long unbeaten run was a, a fantastic result for you. Yeah and I think that result kind of runs a little bit deeper as well I think obviously the girls can talk about the FA Cup final last year um, and then having come so close to beating them this season as well um, yeah it felt, it felt really good and I think that did kick on a, a little bit of a confidence streak for us as well. And how much are you enjoying your role in midfield, going, getting back into midfield again now after playing at the back here for so long? Yeah, it's um, taken me a couple, couple of games and you know we'll have a couple of seasons to get used to it. And I'm learning all the time, and the coaching staff are helping me and challenging me all the time, which is is great for my development. I you know can't ask for more, and yeah, just really enjoying contributing to the team in whichever way I can. I'm interested to see Sarah Mayling play alongside you in the centre. She's more accustomed to seeing her play out wider up front, but she had a really good game tonight, didn't she? She had a great range of passing on her. Yeah, she's a great dynamic player as well. She really covers the ground really well, and so she probably um, compliments me quite well in there. So, uh, yeah, I like to have her energy beside me, and yeah, she's got the technical ability to match as well. Coming up on Sunday, you've got Sunderland. Uh, game. No, they're a difficult team to play against and they're on a good run as well. They pushed Man City all the way too in the cup and got another point tonight. So uh, a tough game this week? Yeah, it will be a difficult game, but we're definitely heading straight into that game with you know a lot of confidence and a lot of, um, a lot of determination. Um, yeah, I don't need to remind you of the our uh, away fixture then was you know a really poor performance from us. Um, and I didn't want to mention that. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's uh, it's time we kind of right those wrongs. So um, we're really looking forward to that. And I must mention a certain game coming up next Friday. Um, small matter of playing a game down at Southampton. I suppose you you must be looking forward to that occasion. And the whole of your team must be approaching that game in, in tremendous confidence after the run you've had lately. Yeah, no, we're, um, we're really, really excited about it. There's no, no two ways. Um, we're really confident in our ability and the kind of style of play and our tactics. And we really think we can nullify England's attacking um, prowess, which is, you know, is very, very good. We, we, we know that and we're prepared for it. So, um, yeah, it'll be a great, great fixture. And going into the game as group leaders, we should say, for us a, a nice position to be in. Yeah, we don't get too ahead of ourselves. We uh, <laughs> we know kind of how the table um, is forming. Um, but yeah, just each game comes, we we set up it in a kind of in a way we can get a result against anyone. So it's just game after game. We we get our heads down. We work as hard as we possibly can. I presume you'll be stepping on anyone's feet after the game really, on Sunday, trying to uh, trip her up and uh, <laughs> pour out the game Friday. <laughs> I'm only joking, of course. <laughs> um, no, yeah, I'll, uh, I'll leave her um, ankles free. Maybe I'll save that for training. No, I'm joking. Just enough to put her out for one game. Right? <laughs> <laughs> well, you wish you the best of luck for that. Well played tonight, Haley. Nice to see you back here again and, and smiling and playing well. As I said, we wish you and Birmingham the very best of luck for the rest of the season. Keep this run going. It's a good run of form. And thanks for taking the time and coming and talking to us in this freezing cold weather here in Bristol. <laughs> no okay. Thank you very much. Cheers,